Hey everybody, it's Jim here. And if you were to ask most guitar players what they believe the true golden era of Fender musical instruments was, most likely you're gonna hear the 50s and the early 60s before Leo Fender sold the company to CBS in 1965. And we all know those early guitars have one hell of a reputation, but they also carry one hell of a price tag. Now, conversely, if you were to ask these same people what they believe kind of the lowest point of Fender USA is, many would say that CBS era, specifically the 1970s. Today, we're going to be putting that to the test. I found a guitar that immediately spoke to me and I said, you know what? The price looks right on it. It's a model that I've never had an American version of, of my own. And this just seems right. But before I get into that, I got to do something real quick. And now that I have supreme confidence that I would easily fit in at a bowling alley in Yonkers in the 1970s, I'm ready to show you the guitar we're going to be playing today. And that is this 1975 Fender Mustang that has been refinished in this awesome purple. The people I bought this from have no idea when this refinish was done or who did this refinish. But if you're watching this and you were the person that did this, kudos. This is the best refinish I think I've ever seen, period. Almost looks like factory. And the technician also agreed. They could not believe it. But obviously, purple was not a standard production color for Fender in the 1970s. It has a seven and a quarter inch radius on it. You do have your 70s logo on the headstock. But the tuners, which are familiar to even the oldest versions of the Fender Mustang, uh, you do have typical switching on it, which was standard issue, gray bobbin pickups, Mustang bridge, dynamic vibrato, and just one volume and one tone knob. One way that this differs from some of the original Fender Mustangs, the one that came in the American colors of red, white, and blue, this has the tummy cut. Those other ones did not. This guitar feels very, very lightweight. I believe it is under seven pounds, but I'm really only interested in playing this and hearing this and experiencing the 1970s CBS Fender Mustang in all of its glory. And to do so, we're going to be using the Tone King Gremlin.
Now the Fender Mustang is a guitar model I've historically always really liked and gotten along with. I love how lightweight these things are. I love the short scale of the neck which results in a really slinky feeling which lends itself well to my play style. The vibrato is something that I've been very hit or miss on in the past and I've had many, many, many different levels of Fender Mustangs all the way from the cheapest classic vibes that I demoed really briefly all the way up to a Fender Custom shop and all sorts of Japanese models here and in between and I will say this out of all of them the custom shop included this is by far the best Fender Mustang that I have ever 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 played there is something awesome about this guitar one of the reasons that I think that this is so great this guitar doesn't go out of tune as much as I abuse this vibrato system, I try to get this to rapidly go out of tune. When this is this serviceable and this abusable, my God, the feel of this, dare I say it, feels better than the one that comes on a Jazzmaster or a Jaguar. Now, I'm not as big of an expert with Mustangs as I am with the Jazzmaster or the Jaguar, so I can't give you a scientific reason for why that is. Perhaps this is just the ultimate setup, or it is just this original part being superior to some of the reissue ones that I've had in the past, but whatever it is, this is outrageous. This feels so, so good to play. This has got a really low action on it. And the food for thought that I want to leave you with here, when you're shopping for an instrument and you have the opportunity to play them in person, take all of these things that you read on the internet as fact and chuck them straight out the window. Try for yourself because you might find the exception to the rule. Don't let any stereotypes about where guitars were made or when guitars were made impact your decision because if you actually just sit down with any given an instrument, you might find, oh my God, this thing is amazing, but the entire internet says it's a piece of crap. Am I crazy or is the internet crazy? You know who's crazy? The internet, because all that matters is you finding something that you really like to play. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If there are any guitars you would like me to do a comparison of this with or an A to B that we already have here, not going to buy anything new for the sake of buying it, let me know in the comments down below. And outside of that, hope you play your guitar. Tell somebody that you love that you love them, and I will see you on the next video. I'm very happy right now that this is the end because I can finally shave and I can get my hair cut. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Take it easy.